right now what we're doing is we're going to be heading up toward the Devil's Backbone. And the Devil's Backbone is an area from San Antonio all the way up north toward, actually it's kind of a northeast up toward Austin. And this Devil's Backbone Ridge is known for hauntings, known for spirits, especially those of Indians, Calvary, horseback, the whole thing. I mean, it's it, it just loaded with the uh, tales of, of different types of paranormal events that take place along this ridge. Um, we're not real sure what this ridge consists of, but we're pretty sure that there's a high mineral deposit in this area as well, which also may lead to a lot of the stories that follow the Devil's Backbone into the paranormal. Now this place that we're going to is known for some hauntings. The area itself, the actual landmass, is actually known for a lot of hauntings and has a long history of spirits and apparitions such as Indians, Calvary, uh, the Calvary on horseback, actual battles being fought that people have actually witnessed and have shown so far to be pretty true according to the folklore behind it all. Um, there's a lot of instances where hunters have been actually chased out of their hunting areas due to the apparitions becoming visible, uh, cavalry showing up, gunshots being heard, and all of a sudden seeing that it's really a bunch of ghosts that are in the area. Their legend says that in that area, there are actually more spirits per square mile than there ever have been living people, which actually says a lot because for some reason this place seems to attract a lot of the spirits in the area. And although it's a long stretch, the place is full of stories, it's full of uh, haunting tales, it's full of uh, ghostly apparitions and things of that nature. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and kind of look around and do a scouting trip and basically see what the Devil's Backbone is all about, see what the people have to say that are in the area, and hopefully get a better idea of what we're going to be dealing with when we do show up with the, with the command center and the bus and all the team members so that we can have a better understanding of how we're going to feel, what it is we're going to be doing in this area, and any precautions that we need to make before we even show up to this location. Uh, this is going to be a lot of rough terrain, so we really need to kind of look closely at it and, and find out what it is we're going to be dealing with. For the most part, we don't even know if we're going to even be able to get in some of these areas. However, at the very least, we're going to get the command center and get on some of these back roads where all these apparitions were seen and see if maybe we can pick up something, at least an EVP or, or maybe something on a photograph or, or even on video. Head west on farm to market road 306 to work Mystic Breeze. Backbone Tavern and from here what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and we're going to go talk to the owner and we're going to talk to some of the people that are inside, kind of see what's going on and get a feel for the place. Think there'd be a wind. That window at the far end opened. 
and this door to the to the to the uh, dance hall dance hall was open. And did this make you a believer as far as spirits? I felt it. I have to. Just being out here in the Texas Hill Country, looking at the flowing hillside, looking at the way everything was probably for thousands of years, makes you wonder about the paranormal and about how things actually transpired. And not only that, but just the stories that are just behind some of the folklore. You know, how did all that take place? How did all that happen? I mean, these stories had to come from somewhere. People had to experience what goes on out here in order for these stories to, to kind of emanate themselves from the whole country themselves. But with the rich deposits of limestone and possibly quartz that are in the area, you know, there's there's no telling, you know, what type of manifestations that would actually take place out here if we were able to cover all these lands the whole time and, and, and just be able to try and gather all that evidence. You know, markers like this right here, they're all along the Texas highways in remembrance to those who have passed away for different reasons. Uh, this right here looks like it possibly was a child. They've got a little teddy bear here. You know, really depicts, you know, the, the spirits that are probably still along these highways wandering around. This rest area that we're sitting at right here along the Devil's Backbone is also known to be haunted. It's said by many that different things take place here. You know, children uh, are heard laughing, heard playing, different things like that. So, you know, with, with little trinkets and things like this that people put to remember their loved ones, it really makes you wonder if that's not really the case. If those spirits are lost and still around this area. Kind of sad and tranquil in a way. And honestly, I couldn't think of a better place to have something so surreal and so beautiful here within the Texas Hill Country. It's really, it's, it's really a nice area.